Welcome back, fishies. Another episode for you. Old Doc Kane bringing you a new product. This is going to be a product test video. Saw this on Amazon and had to buy it. It's an electric drill refitting plate shears. Basically, cordless metal battery powered shears for cutting metal. And we're going to, oh, instructions for another product. We'll have to do a video on that later. It's pretty neat. Not gonna lie. Get everything laid out here. That's the cutting attachment there. See how all this is supposed to go here. And it attaches to a drill like this. Let's see. Okay, the first thing we gotta do is empty the chuck. Get in there right. You notice I'm going real slow with it. Okay. Now it shows a couple different versions of this. Because it shows this hooking in here, and somehow let me hook like this right here. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, so we're just gonna we're gonna try this one first. Put your spring on there because that's what's going to supposedly hold it in place. We shall siege. Get it nice and tight. Then we bring it down to the handle. I think I put the spring on there backwards. Try to turn it that way and put it on. Still the same dead gum way. Okay. We need it like that, so. There we go. Now we're cooking. And we're just gonna stretch it around. And hook it like so. Give it a test run. Okay, so it does. Ah, now we need a little piece of metal to we'll just take this little piece right here. See if we can cut these holes off. Now for the operation of it, well Let's see what we're doing here. didn't take long at all <laughs> granted couldn't cut a straight line to save my life I could cut a straight line than that see that looks straight but it's it's actually caddy wampus there because that's straight you can tell that is not a straight cut 
But, I mean, you know, that could be where this little thing comes in handy. You know, if you got, because this should attach right in here. Of course, I don't think it would work on this particular drill. And of course, almost lost that. And of course, you should put that on first if I was so inclined. You know, one thing I don't particularly like is the fact that it doesn't really give real detailed instructions. I think, you know, instructions could be a bit better on how to put it together. Make sure we get that back in there so we don't lose anything. And it comes with various little hand tools that, I mean, are not necessary. But you can see the, I mean, granted, it's going to be backwards for you, but you can see that that's all the instruction that you get. Not a lot of explaining. Now, you know, I'd really like to be able to cut a straight line with it. But see, and it, once... It gets to there it doesn't want to cut real well you have to kind of force it and then you don't get a real straight line out of it I mean granted you know there's probably some tightening or loosening of this plate or this right here which I guess that's what these tools are for is for doing that because that goes in there and there and that fits there so but to me I think this wheel should be closer to this wheel because it's like it's just it's not if you can see how tight it is You know, the metal is gripped with this, and this is just free spinning. See, in this wheel, my fingers are on it, it's not even turning. So, <coughs> you know, there could be an issue in that. Um, you know, I just, we'll just take her loose and see what we got here sorry get it where y'all can see okay see and it's got this little screw with the tiny nut which I not sure if the, let me get my screwdriver A screwdriver, rather. Because what a guy's wondering is if he tightens the screw. Does it affect the operation? Let's see if that makes it move. I don't. 
it doesn't turn at all now. So we know that that's what that's for. That keeps it from moving. And we obviously want it to free spin. Like I said, I'm, I'm not real thrilled with the design. I've seen some more expensive ones. This one was pretty cheap. It was, I believe, under $30, I think. It's just... That worked way better. And look, it's straight again. So, it does work. Not a bad little product. Not exactly sure what that malform piece is because the instructions really don't say. Of course, uh, it could be a sleeve to fit inside there to make it tighter. Yeah, that appears to be what it is. It's just to make a tighter fit for and I'm pretty sure that this is more along the lines of for the plug-in drills, you know, the corded drills instead of cordless. Uh, because this little bar here screws in where this bar did. Right there. So, but now that we've got it figured out, that's a handy little tool, and I kind of enjoy it. Hope you did. Hope maybe, you know, and of course, you know, any product test that I do like this, I'm not getting paid for it. I wish I was, because <laughs> Doc needs some funding. Because it, it takes, I've said it more than once, it takes a bit to run a channel, you know, to do these videos for you. But I do it because you guys, you guys, gals, y'all are like me. You know, you're watching these videos, you're like me. You know, you search all over for how to videos, you know, of various things, you know, products. You know, you want to see an actual real world scenario, not some edited version. It's so like I said in my last video, I'm not editing. You see everything firsthand. You know, the fan didn't work. It happens. But we got it to spin in. Since they're in free spins. Still don't know if it's gonna work yet or not. Hasn't had time to fully dry out. But when I find out, I will let you know. But, and you know, while we're at it, I'm going to cover another product that is on Amazon. And right now, I'm a happy camper. Oh yeah, way happy. Because I don't know if you noticed or not. This is a Dewalt drill. That is not a Dewalt battery. Mm-mm. Looks like a Dewalt. So you've got the little fuel gauge on it that tells you how much battery power you have but this right here I got two of these okay and if if you use Dewalt you know how expensive it is right very like I think I priced in store at Atwoods Two batteries that wasn't as durable as this. The regular batteries that I think is like eight hours, eight amp hours, I think is what it means. Two hundred and something dollars. Are you for real? The drill itself costs almost that much. 
But I got two of these. Two XRs. Seven and a half. Fifty five almost fifty six dollars, maybe sixty by the time you get done with shipping and handling. And you see it works. It fits the DeWalts, the 20 volts, clicks right in, and it works. I got this, this battery and another one <clears throat> came in probably a week and a half, two weeks ago. First time using it. It's been on the drill since I got it. And it had two bars when I got it. It's still got two bars. So it's just as good as a DeWalt battery. And it's half the price, if not less, for two batteries, folks. Two. That's a deal. So much of a deal. Order two more. Because I'm constantly needing batteries. You've seen it firsthand in the videos. You know, be going along. Oh, battery is dying. Gotta run and grab another one. Now I don't have to worry about it. I can always have a charged battery on hand for multiple tools. <laughs> I've got a battery for every tool now in my arsenal. And I love it. And down the road, as soon as I get some more cash up, I may just go ahead and order another set. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to include the link. Not only for the metal shears, but the batteries too. Yep. Sure am. And the reason I'm going to do this, and of course, <clears throat> I need to go back and check previous links that I've put in the description of other YouTube videos, because I'm not sure that they work from YouTube. You may have to go to the Facebook page and look in the comments to find the links, because this right here, a little bit holder, you know, you, fishies. Y'all know Doc's going to bring you great stuff. You know, if I find some interesting tool, you know, I will either product test it, see if I like it before I bring it to you, or I will test it right in front of your very eyes. But either way, I'm going to give you my absolute honest opinion about it. And that's facts. You take that to the bank. I mean... It is what it is. I'm not going to lie to you. There's no reason to. I'm not going to edit, heavily edit my videos to the point that you don't know exactly what I'm doing and if it's real or not. You're 100% going to know it's real because that's what Something Fishy's about. Something Fishy Studios is all about being real. Now, granted, someday, further in the future, when we can start filming movies, we're going to show you some things. <laughs> but until then, we're going to keep bringing you videos like this. Hopefully, I can get fully back up to speed. We can get Lilith pulled under the carport and start working on that bed cover. And I know everybody's really anxious about Project Lilith. I am too. Of course, it kind of gives me a little anxiety but it happens you know as long as we can give weather cooperation which we all know it's about to get colder fall is upon us folks and of course we've got some spooky stuff coming too matter of fact i'm about to go talk to mom about that here in just a little bit as soon as i wrap up this video wrap up this episode change clothes run out to mom's and have a discussion about it.
course, got a few other things got to take care of out there for her. So we're going to wrap it up with that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit the share button. And if you haven't done so, please, please hit the subscribe button. That's so important on YouTube. And I, I bring it up all the time. I know I do. But it is really important for YouTube content creators like myself to get our videos out there. And the more our videos get out there, get viewed, and of course, you boys want working on trying to get to the point where I'm part of the YouTube Partners Program to where I can actually make some money at it. And yes, that's a thing. Granted, it's a long road for some of us. But it's worth it in the end. That's what I keep telling myself. I mean, I know it is, obviously. Because I get a kick out of doing these videos. You know, I get a kick out of seeing how many views it gets within the first 24 hours. And <laughs> I, I have to say, if you, if you haven't went and seen the How to Use a Coinstar, or as I call it, the Piggy Bank video, go check it out. I mean, 20,000 views already. And it hasn't even been a full year. Are you kidding me? I love that. And of course, mom gets a kick out of seeing how many views the videos she's in gets. And if you haven't checked out our follow-up for the grave dousing, which we added how to mark a grave in it, we were able to do a little bit longer video this time on that subject. And if you don't know what dousing for bodies is, it's like dousing for water. You know, you've heard people talking about, you know, using twig, in a Y to find water. Well, two copper rods, if you're inclined to do it, which I actually tried it after that video and I couldn't do it. And mom's thoughts on that is something in the polarity of my body interferes with it. You know, some of it sort of worked, and the rest didn't. But yet I could find water all day long. <laughs> and we may have to do a water dousing video. I mean, I'm sure there's probably a ton of them out there, but drop a comment if you want to see, see us do that. We'll definitely go do it. You know, and if you have any ideas of things that you would like to see us go do. Uh, now, mind you, Doc don't fly, okay? I am not getting on a plane, and I'm definitely not gonna jump out of one. Mm -mm. I don't do heights. <laughs> I, I, I'll be 100% honest, I'm terrified of heights. Uh, if it's not, a, now granted, I can climb up on my roof all day long, but there are moments that I get a little shaky if I get too close to the edge. You know, as long as it's an absolute stable surface and I'm in control, I'm totally fine with it. One of these days I'll address being terrified of heights and the flying thing, because I do want to travel. You know, I want to be able to fly to Ireland, Paris, you know, all the great sights. But I gotta get over fear of flying first. I mean, maybe it'll happen. I've been on a plane before. I'd rather not discuss that at the moment because we're out of time. <laughs> so until the next episode, as always, much love. Rock on. Have a blessed, blessed day and weekend, everybody. I hope it's a good one for you. Hopefully you get nice weather where you're at because... There's a chance of rain for today here. Well, when the video, well, actually no. Rain would have been yesterday by the time you see this. We'll see. Hope it's a great weekend, everybody. Much love. Until the next episode, 
Peace out, y'all. Have a good one.